Good, evil, darkness, light. There must be balance in the universe. Such is the decree of the Charred Council, an ancient body charged by the Creator to preserve the very fabric of existence. But the balance has been broken. Even now, Earth smolders in ruin, fallen to the demon lords, and the Destroyer carves a new kingdom amongst his mighty chosen. Some say the Horsemen War triggered the apocalypse, that he rode to Earth unbidden and doomed all of mankind. But what of the other Horsemen? Fearless enforcers of the Council's will. What a fury, strife, and death. To know those names, you must first know another. Nephilim, cursed union of angel and demon. The Nephilim countless realms preserved and burned them to ash. But four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. And so a truce was made. The four would serve the council in exchange for unimaginable power. Thus were the dreaded horsemen formed. And the riders' first task was to purge their own brethren from creation, to annihilate the Nephilim and destroy their souls. Let us now cast our gaze to one amongst the four, not war who lies chained at the Council's feet, professing his innocence. But one who would save his brother, above all else. He has many names. Kinslayer, Executioner, Death. he would resurrect humanity. But he knew not how this might be done. And so death rode forth into the icy veil to find the keeper of secrets. Before horsemen, look at me now. How I curse that day. How I curse you. Careful, Crowfather. I'm not here to put you out of your misery. Not yet. I know why you've come. Your brother, the one called War. He's been imprisoned by the Charred Council and awaits their judgment. For dooming the Earth. For mankind's extinction. 
Why should I care about your brother's fate? Because you know the truth. Your secrets can save him. <laughs> <laughs> the Council will condemn war. Strip him of power, let him rot in oblivion. To hide the truth. My secrets cannot prove his innocence, horsemen. No, but they can help me to erase the crime. Bring mankind back from extinction. Madness. If it's madness, then who better to show me the way? Should a way exist, you will find it here. The Tree of Life. Let me pass. Not yet. That which you gave me, you will take it back. In exchange for its secrets, you agreed to keep the amulet. No. The voices, they curse and threaten without end. They cry to return. You must destroy it. I cannot. You annihilated their flesh. Why do you guard their souls? Open the portal. You will not pass while I live. So be it. Here your brethren are trapped in eternal torment. Do you wish to join them? And what of war? Would you kill your brother to save your precious balance? He is innocent. Are you so certain? die with you, old fool. My secrets, but not yours. Our universe swirled in an endless abyss. Many worlds ravaged by time or conflict are swallowed by the abyss, returned to the nothingness from which they were formed. But others linger for eternity on the brink of annihilation, that creation might be balanced with destruction. And in the final moment of battle, death was banished to one such world in the autumn of its life, yet not far from the edge of darkness. Had death been sent to his doom, that answer would be found in the horseman's future. 
abandoned his past. Be still, horseman. You are wounded. Don't touch me. Your arrival here is a bad omen. Yes. It troubles me greatly. Old one, there's more trouble ahead if you don't start making sense. Where is the tree of life? Life? <laughs> this world is dying, lad. Choking on chaos and corruption. We can do little to stop it. Soon, the great tree too shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not what brought you here, Pale Rider? I seek the tree. Your chaos and corruption don't concern me. <laughs> it seems they do concern you. well, but this corruption can't be beaten with a blade. Seek out the Forge Sister. Ask her about the fire of the mountain. Help her, and she will help you reach the tree. As for me, I must return to my work. And who are you to command a rider? I am a maker, older than even the Charred Council. These hands have laid the foundations for many worlds. But that was long ago, and now they but hardly know the touch of stone. Are you not curious as to why I seek the tree? I would not presume to question one of the four, but yes, tell me. I must restore humanity to redeem war. Heaven and hell battle upon the shattered earth. All creation trembles, and at the center of it all stands your brother. He is innocent. I never said he wasn't. The tree holds power over life and death. If you would resurrect humanity, then you are headed in the right direction. Be warned. A dark presence dwells now within the tree, and the path is barred by corruption. Reaper. It's about time you came. The Makers are dying, and our realm. We few are all that remain. A warrior's life is never easy, old one. Aye, not easy, but simple. I always saw my end with blade in hand, a field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? <sighs> you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that, Ryder, before you mark me as a coward. Maker's beard. The rumors are true. A horseman in the Forge Lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge, though I reckon that means less now than once it did. 
This is a Maker's Forge? Nay, the Maker's Forge is lost to us, silenced by the hands of corruption. But in its depths, we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make trinkets. <laughs> and you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the Makers? I guess we've all fallen from high places. I came here seeking the tree, and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the Stone Father's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power, the heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them, and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers, not warriors. But we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's key. And we need our forge to craft one. Will you help us? What is this cauldron? A temple built in the shadow of Stonefather's Peak. There, the fire of the mountain was harnessed and passed into our forge. Ride east of town, ride through the charred pass and towards the cindery peak of the Stone Father. There, you will find the cauldron. Man of no words, your brother. <laughs> but hardly silent. His voice is the ring of the hammer and the roar of the white flame. Yes, he works while you talk. I may have need of a blade. Is your need greater than ours, horseman? I think not. We fight for the survival of our realm and our kin. Prove worthy, and mayhaps we can do business. Fare thee well! Horseman, you'll find not that way, but trouble. Do what you must for your kin, old one. For mine, I ride to the cauldron. Well, if you fancy your corruption waist deep, that's as good a place as any. You know, there's a reason this gate is here. And if you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then, <laughs> who is friend to death? Have you wisdom to share, or was it long since not loose in battle? Oh, wisdom ain't like teeth. I've plenty left. Enough to stay clear of the cauldron. The ancients filled it with right nasty traps. But one so clever as yourself will surely elude them. Come closer. See what Vulgrim has to offer. Greetings, horseman, and welcome. I've been expecting you. Vulgrim. What brings you crawling out of the shadows? <laughs> I wouldn't want to lose my most valuable customer. Not to what lurks at the edge of shadows. So here I am, to offer my wares. What do you know that I don't? I'm not here by choice, demon. I merely followed the trail of carnage. Your blades are as sharp as ever. Even still, I may be able to help you. 
I carry things others would frown upon. Go on, take a look. You won't be disappointed. Another time, demon. Until then, perhaps you'll grant me a small indulgence. There are pages missing from the Book of the Dead. I believe many lie along your path. If you bring them to me, your reward will be substantial. And so will be my damnation. I have to go alone. Has come to the realm. Hmm, not another one. You're the Nephilim, the one they call Death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the earth. I'll take my chances. Say, if you're headed in there, you mind doing something for me? Yes, I mind. Aren't I doing enough already? Perhaps. Though it seems to me you're doing right enough for yourself. Our benefit being a fortunate side effect. Well, if it ain't much trouble, I, I left an old metal platter in there, with the image of two hammers scribed in the center. Not much to look at, but uh, it was my journeyman piece. Last thing I ever forged. A dish? You want me to bring you a dish? Yes. Well, it has sentimental value. If you find it, I'll make it worth your while. A little different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. <laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pup or Lad. But I prefer my own name. Khan. Pup it is, then. As you will. Matters not to me. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight, and the way through is swallowed by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. The mountain has a voice! How did you... No, no, doesn't matter. You have done what we... what I... failed to do. You must take the good news to Alia as soon as you can. I found that... dish you wanted. You're a good man. Much more so than your name would imply. <laughs> I'm in your debt. flows again. Yes, freed by my hand. And Karn's. Karn? That pup? 
He hasn't a clue. And yet, the forge burns once more. You know what awaits you, Ryder. To finish this, you must restore the tears. I'm not your errand boy, Maker. Aye, but our fates are now yoked. Help us, and we will help you. In the meantime, take this. It might be of use. Now this pistol. It belongs to my brother, Strife. How came it here? I cannot say, but there are other goods you may barter for now as well. Restore the tears, then return to me. You said there were two things that powered your forge, fire and tears. Yes, fire to wake the earth and tears to calm it. Both gifts of the Stone Father. And fire will not be enough. Nay, we require both. Where might I find the tears of the mountain? To the west, past the fjord and into the drench fort. You will find the tears within. We tried to seal in the corruption, but no good came of it. What can you tell me about the tears of the mountain? The Dirinch Fort lies just beyond this barrier. It was the first thing taken by corruption. We sealed the Stone Father's tears inside, fearing what would happen if they spread. If I do as Alia asks, you'll soon find out. Aye, and the realm will be better for it. Whether pure as rain or black as sin, the tears will end this stalemate. It's odd how I often find you, standing. Without the Tree of Life Horsemen, I'm trapped here just like you. A fortunate few slipped out before the tree was lost, like Ulthane. And who is Ulthane? He's just another maker. Has a big hammer is all. When he escaped, I feared to follow. And a good thing, too. And why is that? Well, you might still be looking for the cauldron if not for my courage and wit. If you're really going, don't let me stop you. Exploring's a wondrous thing. You never know what you might find. For instance, should a bit of armor turn up, it's likely some I uh, misplaced some years back. If you can find it, I'll be in your debt. It is finished then, at long last. Death, this is a maker's key, and you had best take it now, before I come to my senses. <laughs> you seem more likely to lose them, old one. A problem, aye. But there is also a solution. The Guardian, meant to be our greatest weapon and capable of clearing the forest around the tree. But an earthquake drove us from the foundry, and now I fear something else roams within. The Guardian was never finished. If the Guardian is your masterwork, how am I to complete him? In the forest lies another construct, one of the few remaining who have not fallen to corruption. He is not as vast as the Guardian, but his heart is strong. Seek him out, and he will guide you to the foundry. There, you may activate the Guardian using the Maker's Key.
The constructs are awakened by a key? Aye. Constructs do not have a soul like you or I. Not until that soul is given. This key unlocks the stone and prepares it for the ebb and flow of a Maker's life force. In fact, it will bring to life most any construct you find in the realm. <laughs> and what makes you think I have a soul, or what? Isn't that what troubles you? How will I know when I've found this construct? Constructs are beings of boulder and stone, animated by a Maker's life force. Most possess but a fraction of a soul, just enough to drive them and give them purpose. But through others course the whole of a Maker's being, his memories and emotions, a story half remembered. Life weighs heavy on us all. Not even stone can bear it. If Wardens can resist corruption, why not use them to cleanse your realm? Sadly, the Wardens were called when the seals were broken. The Maker's toll to be paid at the End War. This Warden is all that remains. Hmm. Then the seals were broken. Corrupted. Not yet. Corrupted. Then it was not a dream. The Makers have need of me. The Makers say that you can reach the Foundry, and that a Guardian lies within. The Foundry, yes. It is where I was cast. But it was lost. And now... You will need my help. Will you help me, old one? Yes. Shall we? Hold on, little one. In my 
slumber, I have felt the guardian reaching to my dreams. He is the strongest of us all, but in his heart there is a hunger. The guardian was built to destroy. He has much in common with corruption. You must speak with Adar and make your peace before we cross over. There may be no crossing back. I restored your forge and brought life to stone. But am I any closer to the tree? Tell me now, old one, or you may never get the chance. I hear the foundry is dangerous. As is the tree, horseman, and the entire forest. That is why you must awaken the Guardian. But have you asked yourself why you seek the tree? The tree of life is where I will find my brother's absolution. The tree of life is a gateway. From it, one may travel to places undreamed of, whether a world of oceans and forests, or ice, or endless night. The tree exists there. It may appear different, yet it is the same tree and its roots connect all the realms. The tree of life is not where journeys end, but where they begin. You. Horseman, do you ever doubt your future? No. So one like yourself would set out to change a fate that displeases him? That is a long and dangerous path, even for death himself. How is that your concern, Shaman? Only that I am skilled at crafting talismans. If you gather the proper materials and return them to me, I'll make a potent talisman to aid you on your journey. What do you require? Stalker's bone, mordant dew, and carven stone. It is not a simple charm. Where can I find them? Somewhere in the Forge Lands. I rarely leave Tristone, but that pup Khan is always out exploring. He can tell you more, no doubt. Time has come. Tell me about the foundry. It's a holy site where soul is fused with stone. Doesn't look so holy from here. The darkness has spared little in our realm. But the foundry is a place of magic. It is strong. Then with your help, we will claim it once more. What became of the other wardens? In my dreams, I felt many of my brothers. But only one still called. Aura. A warden most ancient. His song still haunts me. The warden. It's not safe to go alone. You need my help. I have to go alone. Eh, me thinks you forgot me. Stay there! 
I'll get the door. Let her drop. the Guardian Rider, and if you would get to the tree, we will have to wake that beast. And then what? The Guardian will do what it was meant to, destroy the corruption blocking the tree. But it looks finished, why does it just stand there? The body is finished, aye. But as it stands, it is no more than dead stone. To give life to the stone, we must give it the essence of a maker's heart. Three of them for a beast this large. And how do we do that? These heart stones were finished, along with the Guardian, but never married to the stone. They're all in the temple. We need only look to find them. Then let's go. Back to the Guardian. Something wrong with this one. You must place the stone into the Guardian. We've seen its work, Horseman. Corruption fair weeps from it. 
The other two heartstones were pure. I'm wagering that their radiance will cleanse the third. Mayhaps. Khan, a greater risk is to do nothing. Hey. to divide and conquer either. You look for the Guardian, and I'll see to the others. You go on without me, Arsman. Beyond my help, horseman. Do your work.
You had no choice but to destroy him, horseman. Yet if the path to the Tree of Life is to be clear, I have no choice but to bring you back. How many times would you have? The Guardian will be as a new boy, free of corruption. Now, stand aside. This will take more than a small effort. As the reaping of souls defines your own, there is no escaping it! <sighs> Get to the tree now, horseman. Your journey is far from over. planet shorn of life. Oh, humans are weak and simple. They would not survive this resurrection, nor do they deserve it. That is not ours to judge. I do this to spare war from the Council's punishment. And what of the Nephilim? Would you save but one and not the rest? The Nephilim are a threat to the balance. If we had taken Eden, none of this would have happened. Yet you rode against us. Slaughtered our flesh, then bound our souls in your amulet! Who are you? I think you know. Once, you called me brother. Absalom. I have forsaken that name. Now, I am corruption. The day you raised your scythe against us, I was born. And soon, I will be all. The tree of life has fallen to my darkness. From withered root to fruitless limb, and even death himself will not escape it! What defines a soul? Some call it the spark within that fights the darkness, that burns for life itself. But what of death, who became the reaper on the day he slaughtered the Nephilim? He killed his brother. His comrades and Absalom. Death! Why do you slay your own? The Nephilim have no claim to Eden. There are realms for angels and demons. Why not for us? Eden belongs to man. 
It belongs to those who take it! The eons have not answered the question. <laughs> Was it worth it? Brother. That one moment. No! Begot corruption. And crowned him Kinslayer. The bitter victory could not be undone. Isn't it odd that so many have come here by your hand? <sighs> and yet you so rarely visit the dead kingdom. I had no plan to visit this wretched place. I sought the tree of life. I found it. Now I'm here. <laughs> the tree is no destination, my friend. Only a portal to other worlds. If the tree is what you seek, then you have arrived. That I have been betrayed. Mm, not so hasty. The tree is wise beyond imagining. If it brought you here, then here is where you belong. Perhaps I can help. Mm. I doubt it. You would be wise to heed me. I have a merchant's skill to grant your deepest desire. Tell me, Ryder, what do you seek? Hmm? I would redeem my brother, restore the balance. Hmm. Yes, I have heard the tale. Your brother rode though no call was given, and mankind paid the price. Guard your tongue, merchant. I give no judgment, friend. Only pass on that which I have been told. You were right to seek the tree, but it is only the gateway. What you seek is the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls can restore humanity. And more. The Well channels the dead into this kingdom from every world above and below. It is also how souls are brought back into creation when they are ready to be reborn. You still haven't said what you are. The history of my people was burned to ash along with our world. Forgotten even by those who <laughs> destroyed them. Now, only the smoke remains. We were not the first. Nor will we be the last. It is the way of things. The way of things is balance. And what balances life? Nothingness. <laughs> or corruption. Eventually, it consumes us all. So it would seem. None of this explains what you're doing here. I am merely a humble merchant with a taste for the finer things. In life, and in death. I am Ostagoth, and it would amuse me to offer you my wares. Tree of life, tree of death, portals to other worlds. I know none of this. How is it I have remained so blind, or does your tongue only spit lies? Much was kept from the Nephilim, and from the Four. Why? Because power must be tempered with ignorance. If the Nephilim knew the true nature of the tree, all would have perished. I forsook the Nephilim, became a warrior for the balance, even killed my own people. I protect these worlds, you and the tree, yet still I remain in the dark. Forsaken, yes. Forgotten? No. The Nephilim live on in you. But what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. <laughs> what if I wish to return to the Forge Lands? 
The tree of life has many portals, Ryder. Some may help you retrace your path. Many portals are closed, but the ones to the Forge Lands remains open. Hmm. Pretend that I believe you. Where should my search begin? You must scale the Serpent's Peak and summon the Eternal Throne. There, the Lord of Bones slumbers. <laughs> he will guide you to the well, <laughs> or he will have your soul. Before you go, Horseman, consider this. My people may be lost, but their relics yet remain. <laughs> you may come across them in your travels. They are worthless to most, but valuable to me. Return them, and I will trade relic for coin. said you well horseman I've beaten death once and I can do it again I have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> of course not you still reek of hope you couldn't have met the Chancellor the Chancellor doesn't sound like much Ages. His tongue has dripped venom into the dead king's ears. He all but sits upon the eternal throne, demanding service. Who are you? I am the master of blades, and all that remains of a warrior once called Draven, and the kingdom of man. To have passed through the well of souls long ago. But I won my freedom in the arena, only to fall beneath the dead king's whip. No one disturbs the Lord of Bones without say of his chancellor. A rider? In the kingdom of the dead? No, no, this will never do.
I must speak with the Lord of Bones. <laughs> oh, that is not possible. My Lord attends his realm, a burden beyond even your ken, horseman. And what is your use as a doorstop? There is but one way to draw him from his slumber. The Gilded Arena. Here, mortals are offered a last chance to earn freedom from the grave. A boon that includes an audience with the king. Defeat the arena's champion and return here with its skull. His majesty will grant you an audience. And where is this arena? Fret not, horse. We have already arrived. Let me speak to the Lord of Bones, and I will spare your champion. And perhaps you as well, Chancellor. <laughs> you cannot slay that which is already dead. But you're welcome to try. In the arena. Forget what I said about sparing you, doorkeeper. Tell me about the king of the dead. His reign is eternal, his word is law, and his time is invaluable. I ensure that he need only speak with those who are worthy. Then you must rarely see him, Chancellor. Oh, Do take care in the arena, Should anything happen to you, I'm not sure if I could live with myself. Defeat your champion. And so all challengers boast. But most leave in torment. Their souls burn from existence. And our champion of all the stronger for it. Enough! Bring out your champion. There is power in this one. Power enough to do as he claims. But our champion is no cur to be summoned at will. You must draw him forth. This altar holds his power. The souls of all he has slain and consumed. Three animal stones must be placed therein. And our champion will
I was so hoping you would not return. <sighs> what of the arena's champion, then? He won't be entertaining you any longer. No. Impossible. I believe your king will see me now. I cannot deny you. starting to enjoy the atmosphere. Then you have not been here long. Billions of souls crowd my kingdom. All of humanity wailing for vengeance. <sighs> but I see you are already familiar with such music. What would you have of me, horseman? Show me the way to the Well of Souls. <laughs> And what do you seek there? Power over life and death? Or do you hope for absolution, Kinslayer? I wondered where the souls of your brethren had gone, for they never passed through my realm. Your realm hardly needs more subjects. True. Yet I must face this rabble without the lords who serve me. That's not my concern. Make it your concern, and I will grant your request. Find my three dead lords, and wake them from their slumber. This will bend them to your will. Return the lords to me, that they might share my burden. Time for the likes of you, horsemen. I hear the pleas of the dead, not the damned. And what of the pleas of your lord? I serve him even now, though he would reward my efforts with eternal torment. You did leave the eternal throne. Even here, there are souls lost, waiting to be judged and sent into the city of the dead. 
I have heard three such spirits wandering the corridors. Find them, and bring them back to me. Once I have cleansed them of their past, I will hear what troubles the Lord of Bones. Why hear the pleas of the dead? Before a soul can enter the City of the Dead, its secrets must be laid bare, and its life judged. It is a matter of mercy. The souls will wander, lost and blind, until then. as you truly live. as you truly live.
judgment is at hand. Humans, always so frightened. See your life as you truly live. It is finished. Your lord summons you. I am ever his servant. You forget your station, Nephilim. You may be a horseman, but I am a lord of the dead. And your king demands an audience. This realm belongs to corruption now. None alive can stand against it. You misjudge me. You ride without the power of the seals at your back. You would not survive even the weakest trial of the realm. I brought low the arena's champion. <laughs> that is but a game, Pale Rider. There are other trials meant to punish. Speak with the voice in the Gilded Arena. Ask of the Psychomeron. If you live, we will speak again. Seek the Psychomeron. If such a thing were possible, it would surely lift you down to your very soul. I have a few to spare. <laughs> Indeed, but I wonder. Are they too old to burn after so many? I hoped a champion would arise who could face the corruption. And you have come far, horseman. A pity that your journey ends here. Come <laughs> on. 
craftsman, even unto the Lord of Bones, even unto judgment. You're wasting my time. What is this? I don't like being toyed with. They failed me. But you have earned my gratitude. I will send you to one in my kingdom who knows the way to the Well of Souls. But first, there are demons that you must face. I've already faced and killed many. Not like these. There is great power bound in that amulet. But your shame stays its unlocking. I regret nothing. Oh, I can see beyond your flesh to where the true battle rages. <laughs> Horseman, what did you learn from the Lord of Bones? I suppose your king lives up to his name, if not his bargains. The dead king has granted you passage to the city of the dead. Who must I seek in the city of the dead? You should worry more about the one who seeks you. Answer my question, Scarecrow. <laughs> There's no fun in simply telling you. Then speak no more. I'd keep watch on my own neck if I were you. What will I find in the City of the Dead, besides more corpses? Something far more precious than sinew and bone. Souls, Rider. From every kingdom under a dying sun. In the city, their past life is cleansed, that they may pass through the well and be reborn. Many souls do not survive this purification. Some are driven mad. And a few even manage to escape their bonds.
Huntsman, I believe you call. Profather, I am the one you seek. And where else would I be but the city of the dead? Would you like to ask a question? Or just stand there like you've seen a ghost? Tell me how to reach the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls is a place of unimaginable power. The key to life and death of creation itself. And that is why the well has a key of its own. Well, that was divided long ago. The angels keep one half, and the demons the other. And never shall the two meet. Unless you truly mean to save your brother. To save war, I would storm the White City. Of that, I am more than certain. But there is no need. The angels have realms beyond the White City as the demons do beyond their dark kingdom. All will become clear to you once you reach the tree. I've already done that, Crowfather. Nevertheless, you must find the tree again and go wherever it takes you. Absalom lives. Yes, Absalom lives on. His rage and agony spread as corruption and he will unmake all of creation destroy the balance. I killed Absalom once, Crowfather. If I could go back, I would see him spared. I doubt he would grant you the same courtesy. How can I restore humanity? The Well of Souls is where all life begins. Where the souls of the dead are born into their new lives. I killed the beast that haunted this place. I freed the souls of humanity. And in other times, that would be enough. But something draws power from the well, leaving only void where there once was life. I fear you have only released the souls into further torment. Then there is no hope. Humanity is lost. Not so. Even now, you carry with you the power to restore the well. The Nephilim? If you sacrifice their souls? Yes. They alone have the power to undo what was done. So I must sacrifice the Nephilim, my kin, to restore mankind? The Nephilim are dead, by your own hand. That broken talisman is all that remains. Would you leave them to eternal torment in that cage upon your chest? Make haste for the tree. Not so fast, horseman. You're following me. So I am. I will remain here at the tree, should you have need of me on your quest. <laughs> and dust has a beak for more than corpses, horseman. Follow him and you will find the key. Follow dust, find the key? Can't be that easy, Crowfather. You may be right, Death. The future is a secret even I cannot keep. This place. Where have you taken me? This place is called Lost Light. It is an outpost, far beyond the gates of heaven. And it is here that the angels have hidden the key to the Well of Souls. Why here? Why not the White City? There are some amongst the angels who would use the key for their own purpose. So it was hidden here to safeguard it from their schemes. Or so they hoped. The well has power over all life. It does. Though I suspect there is more to your question. Go on, Ryder. Ask it. The four never knew of the well. Why was it kept from us? For fear of what you may have done with that knowledge. The Nephilim could not be allowed to ravage creation any longer. 
They needed to stay dead. Then the well can bring them back. And so we get to the root of it. Yes, the well is the font of all life. Angel, demon, mankind, even Nephilim. But from their blades they wrought chaos. And from that was born corruption. You were right to destroy them. Abaddon's eye. It is. To me, quickly. Welcome to Lost Life Rider. From one warrior to another. Do I know you? I am Nathaniel. I fought beside you at the gates of Eden. Would have died were it not for your blades. But I'm not troubled that you don't recall me. Your thoughts that day were on killing Nephilim. You're of the Hell God. I was. But I guard the light now. And the Archon. You'll find both in the Crystal Spire. But something tells me you are not here to glory in my master's radiance. What gave that away? The Archon's that way, horseman. Perhaps I have other business. If that business takes you to the kingdom of the dead, you would serve the light to deliver this what scroll. What business have you in that land of corpses? I seek an old friend. A lost soul. Where better to look? Take that scroll to the undead court, that they may answer my question. I'm looking for a key. I would guess that what you seek is no simple key. For that, you should consult the Archon. He sees much from the peak of his spire. How did you come to leave the Hellguard? Abaddon sent me here to watch over the Crystal Spire and the Archon. There is much at stake should the Spire fall. What is this place? An outpost. We call it Lost Light, for what we left behind in the White City. Here, we are closer to darkness. And who is this Archon? Lucian is the head of the Scriptorium. Those angels record all that he sees when he peers into the shadow. The Ivory Citadel holds their records, an archive vast beyond thinking. Where is this Citadel? Lost beyond the mists. Pray your business never sends you there. <gasps> Out of the shadows and into the light. I see you, horsemen. The things you have done. The lives you have ended. I know why you are here. Then you will give me the key. I have guarded the key for centuries. It is mine, and I will not part with it lightly. Not now. Corruption spreads. In our city. In our hearts. Only I remain pure, a beacon against the darkness, helpless to push it back. They're not all helpless, Arkham. Huh. Perhaps not. 
After the seals were broken, and Hell's legions loosed upon the earth, many divine relics were lost. One, the Rod of Arafel, could help reverse what has happened here. I dare not retrieve the rod myself. The gates to the White City are closed to any angel who visits Earth. But you... are no angel. Acquire the rod, and I will clear a path into my citadel. There you will find the key to the Tree of Life. As for what you will find on Earth, after you face it, even you may curse the name of war. The pool will bring you to Earth, Rider. Do not tarry here. If you want the rod, you will tell me where to find it. I have seen much while staring into the deep, but that I cannot tell you. The kingdom of man was swallowed by darkness when the armies of hell invaded. I have seen only glimpses of the Earth since then, but enough to know that the rod of Arafel is safe and our only hope of redemption. How does the City of Light fall to corruption? It wasn't the city that fell, but those within. It began with just one angel. Weak of will, given to doubts. When the darkness called, he welcomed it in. From him, the corruption spread. It seemed only I could sense it, gathering above our heads. And though I warned my brothers of the storm that was to come, they did not listen. Only when the cloud burst did the City of Light fall, and other realms have fallen since. Your pool, is it the only way to the Kingdom of Man? It is the only path that I know of. You can thank your masters for that. To preserve the balance, the Chard Council forbade all travel to the Third Kingdom, and destroyed those means that already existed. Even the Tree of Life was burnt. Like so much kindling. Yet you have the means to travel to Earth. Not everyone obeys the Council Death. That is why they have their horsemen. You speak of this realm as if it were your own. The guards call this place Lost Light. But it is here that the light is to be found. And I am its source. There's nothing else you can tell me? Not until you find the Rod Horseman. Then all will be revealed.
I should kill you for what your brother did here. But you saved my life. Consider us even. What do you know about the Rod of Arathel? A weapon of immense power, brought to Earth by the Archon Hestis to battle the demons in the End War. But Hestis fell, and the Rod was shattered. Now the Destroyer uses its pieces to fuel his army of darkness. What was broken can be reformed. Where are the pieces of the Rod? In the hands of the Destroyer. He has summoned creatures from the Abyss, and drawn forth his chosen. Things of blasphemy, who even now divide this world into their own hellish domains. The Suffering are one such beast. They feed upon the dead of this world, and twist them into a swarm of flesh and bone that fight as one mind. It was they who attacked us moments ago. One mind? Easily sundered. I will not risk more Helgard to recapture the Rod of Arafel. But, should you wish to undertake this fool's errand, then follow the trail of corpses left by my brethren. A fool's errand? Well, it would not be my first. How many angels died here, Uriel? Too many. But for every dead angel, there is another, kept alive against his will. Their suffering empowers the Destroyer. Perhaps you could release them from their torment, Pale Rider. If you wish. However, all I can offer the captives is a swift end. That is blessing enough. Why are the Hellguards still on Earth? You lost your ill, in case you haven't noticed. Where else would we go? All of creation saw what happened here. How the Hellguard marched before the seals were broken. The White City is closed to us. We can never go home. What are these chosen? They don't look like demons. No, they are something far more ancient, drawn from the heart of the Abyss. The most powerful serve the Destroyer, and rule in his name over Ash and Bone. The rest kill everything around them. It is a wonder you've lasted this long. Even the dead march against you. You speak of the swarm. Of all the creatures that roam the wastes, they most hunger for revenge. Not even death can stop them. that lurk beyond these barricades that the Hellguard dare not face head on. And the remaining rod pieces, do they lie past the barricades? Yes. Pass through the city, and you will find the next piece beneath the earth, in an old abandoned tunnel. Where will I find the final fragment? I do not know. But the rod has a will of its own. Find the second piece, and it may tell me where the last resides. second piece. I can feel its power within you. The rod wills itself whole. You may be deaf to its cries, but I am not. The final piece lies beyond this barrier, in an area heavily fortified by the shadow. Destroyer will not be pleased when I restore the rod of Arafel. The warriors may pay the price. The White City is lost to us. This broken world will soon be our grave. 
And yet we must fight on against the darkness, to uphold the light. If your actions hasten our end, so be it. May you live to see the Destroyer take his last breath, your ill of the Hellguard. Good luck, Ryder. The final peace is within your cross. Together! to ask that you wield that weapon and turn the tide of this war. But I fear the Destroyer would capture it again and turn it to his dark purpose. No, better that you remove it from this world and into the safe keeping of the White Army. We will make our stand here until the Hellguard is no more. I would stand with you, Uriel. My brother's fate takes me on another path. You have proven yourself honorable, a virtue little known with your kind. But if I ever see him, war must answer for his crimes. He could not have brought this upon the earth, and I will see my brother spared. Do what you will, Ryder. But this world is lost, and that cannot be undone. And what of the Hellguard, Yuru? The blade dulls, eventually. <laughs> That's what I'm counting on. The demons will suffer all the more when we force the blade home. Be careful what you wish for, Archon. You just might get it. The Rod of Arafel. I have been waiting so long. It feels every bit as powerful as I imagined. Then you should have no problem clearing a path into your city. A path? No. I will clear the entire realm. I will burn away the shadows with holy light. If you are to reach the Citadel, you will need wings. Seek out the scribe, most ancient. He still wanders the ruins. He can help you end your quest.
Where is it? Please, I'll tell you everything. It was chaos. Even the most noble among us abandoned his senses and took up his sword. It happened to the Archon. It happened to me. The Archon. It was that damn pool. They're useless, forbidden for a reason. Whatever vision he saw within rent his mind. The corruption spread from him. He made this city a slaughterhouse while professing his own purity. Eventually, the Archon fled to the Crystal Spire. couldn't destroy the key. Surely you understand, Horseman. I did what I had to do. Open the well. <laughs> Protected the key. From the questions they asked. And from you. Only I may bear the key. I have the Angel Key. Then your task nears its end. I can open the way, Death. But you must find the other key. The Demon Key? Yes. Tread lightly. There is not that way but shadow. Shadow's Edge, Horseman. Now, go as the crow flies, or your brother is lost. This place looks familiar. As well it should. This is the dark reflection of the Crystal Spire, 
a realm where demons rather than angels keep watch. But corruption turned their gaze inward. And what they saw there destroyed them. What of the key? It remains within, bound by a powerful master. Welcome to the Dark Kingdom, Horseman. If you're following me... <laughs> nothing of the sort. I've come to part demons from their coins, and you from their souls. Are we so different? I'm looking for a key. But of course. Samael keeps many wonders in the vaults beneath the black stone. I have come to trade for what few he would part with. But I fear not all is well in the Red Court. Samael would never let his realm slide so far into nothingness. Beware of what you find on Samael's throne, and whom. Rumors are all that escape the vortex of a mad queen Lilith, who still clings to rule. Lilith? Why am I not surprised? Samael was there when I fought the Nephilim. No doubt watching, with great interest. The demon Samael plays a game of his own devising. And we are his pawns. I've heard of this place, the Black Stone. Yes, the throne of Samael, the Blood Prince, the Red Wanderer. He has many names, yet one home. Not much left. Corruption devours the Black Stone, as it has countless worlds, as it will the Forge Lands, the Undead Plains. Even Earth. That is corruption. What does it seek? The end of existence itself. And in its place, nothingness. And how do we fight that? We don't. Your precious balance only serves to stay its hand. But what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. Come out now, Lilith. Do you blame me for hiding? You are death where you ride. No one is safe, not even your mother. You are not my mother. Did I not create Absalom from the mingled dust of angel and demon? And from that first Nephilim, were not the rest formed. They were brothers to the horsemen. Yet when the riders slaughtered the Nephilim, only you showed remorse. Why did you not cast the amulet into the abyss, as the Council ordered? Why spare their souls, if not to one day undo your sin? My sin?! This corruption was born in Absalom! It rises from him like a black tide, and you, Mother, must help me stop it. Where is the demon key? In Samael's keeping. But he is gone now, and the key has vanished. Oh, 
Don't worry, my child. Time, like sin, may be undone. With this, you can return to the past, to Samael's stronghold before his fall, and find the Demon Key. I only ask that when you reach the Well of Souls, you will answer your heart and resurrect the Nephilim. Sends only one horseman, even to the past. No, this visit is unsanctioned. In fact, no one knows you're here. Not a soul. Hand over the key, it could be our little secret.
lead the way. It will be quite a show. I have the key, Crowfather. Then at last you may enter the Well of Souls. But once undertaken, there is no returning on this path. I've come this far, Crowfather. I'm not turning back. Then be warned, Rider of Death. A dark presence guards the well, and the seeds of corruption writhe within. The well is corrupted. Yes, but not the nameless kind who have faced it thus far. No. Corruption has chosen a champion, a voice to sound its clarion call. Then I will see this finished. Here and now. Remember what you have learned, Ryder. Corruption is the end of all things. Even death. Tree, the keys, the well. Why do I get the sense you are testing me? You test yourself, old friend. For what you've done. For what you had to do. And now you face the ultimate test. Will you bring death or give life? Have you ever wondered, Death, why you are untouched, while those around you wither and rot in the grip of corruption? Could it be that you are already blackened by the sin of betrayal? How can you defeat that which seethes in your own heart? You cannot stop me without forever damning your soul!
Take my hand once more, brother. Absalom stops the corruption. I stand at last at the Well of Souls. We've no idea what I must do next. It is quite simple, and yet most difficult. I'm in no humor for riddles, Crowfather. You may tap the power of the Well to return the Kingdom of Man, or you may resurrect the Nephilim. But know that choosing one will forever doom the other. <sighs> My brother War. I would protect him above all. To return man to the earth will require a sacrifice. journey was not ended. On the shattered earth, his brother War had slain the destroyer. You will be hunted. The White City for certain. The Council, and there will be others. You would wage this war alone? No. Not alone. War had broken the Seven Seals. Summoning the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And the number of the Riders shall ever be four.
you are alone, Lilith. Where are my Nephilim? My prince, I... The end war is upon us. Yet instead of the army you promised me, death has returned man to the balance. I await your punishment. This time, Lilith, you will get no pleasure from it. <laughs>